Hi, this is Jared Pollock, the owner of a business coaching company in Houston. It's December of 2011, and as a small business owner, what's one thing you should absolutely be preparing for in 2012? You should absolutely be preparing to create a marketing plan for the entire year of 2012. And so what does that mean? Well, it's actually a lot more complicated than this, but just to be succinct, you need to think about who do you want to target in 2012? What are some potential clients that you want to go after? What size, what location, what demographic? You need to uh, clearly write that on paper, who you're going after. Then you need to look back. If you've been in business for a while, look back at your last year, your last two years, at what you've done for marketing, how much money you've invested, and then what you want to do is, okay, out of all the activities I've done in the past, what activities have given me the greatest results, um, hopefully with the least amount of, of financial investment? What has given me the greatest result? And then what you wanna do is look at 2012, and you wanna put that on paper, everything you wanna do in 2012. It might be eight to 12 different marketing items. And then you wanna break down into January, Mar uh, January, February, March, April, all the months of 2012. And as opposed to um, looking at the whole marketing plan, eight to 12 items, choose four or five items that you're gonna hyper-focus on each month for marketing. So again, think about your target market, who are you going after, create all the marketing activities you wanna do based on your successes in the past, and maybe add a few new ones for 2012, and then put it on paper, and I guarantee you're gonna create more leads, which is the purpose of marketing, um, if you put this plan on paper, and then you need to have some sort of a system for accountability in 2012. Again, this is Jared Pollock. I'm just hoping that you create your marketing plan in 2012.